As you know, Olin's mission includes two things, one of which has to do with providing an excellent education for our students on campus, but the other one is much more of an outreach orientation to try to catalyze change in engineering education around the world, uh, which is a really big job for a little school like Olin. But in the last couple of months, we've had really some unusual opportunities to play a key role in that kind of transformation. One of them occurred on, in the early part of March on the campus of Duke University. There was a summit meeting on the National Academy of Engineering's Grand Challenges, which you can find more detail on on the Academy's website. These have to do with problems like global climate change, sustainable energy, affordable health care for all, problems that transcend uh, time zones and political boundaries, problems that will be the problems that our students will have to face in their future. And to try to prepare leaders for these kinds of problems, we, we partnered with our friends at Duke University and at the University of Southern California to create a, um, a national meeting that had 1,100 attendees, including about 400 students, with some very high-profile keynote speakers. Uh, although Olin obviously was a very small part of this meeting in terms of numbers, Olin was mentioned prominently in, in several places and in fact uh, was included in an NPR story at the end of the, uh, the meeting as well. Our students uh, were particularly prominent in the question and answer period after almost every one of the keynote speeches. Uh, many people commented on their thoughtful questions and the maturity that they presented, which was very, very much what we expected to see from Olin students. The meeting ended with the signing of a new document and the announcement of a new uh, program, the um, National Academy of Engineering Grand Challenge Scholars Program, which was the uh, initial work of Olin College, USC, and Duke University to try to inspire and recognize uh, students who go beyond the traditional engineering education to include areas that will le lead to their prominence in solving the national grand challenges. Um, a second example of influence beyond our borders happened on our campus in April when uh, Olin College partnered with our friends at Illinois, University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, uh, to sponsor a national meeting called the Engineer of the Future 2.0. Uh, this meeting um, was attended by people from around the globe, including folks from as far away as Singapore. Um, it included a lot of students as well, and it ended with the signing of a new proclamation having to do with catalyzing change in engineering education around the world.